Yo guys, what's up? Campbell's here today, coming at you with another uh, another movie review. And if you're saying Campbell's, you've never uploaded a movie review, well, that's where I have to correct you because I have. I just haven't uploaded one since the f first Guardians of the Galaxy. Boom. Um, but don't judge me. Uh, that was a. I mean, yeah, it was a long time ago, but you know, still. But yeah, I'm reviewing it. If you can read, of course. Uh, and. Really, uh, I know this isn't comics or it's not uh, 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 gaming, but it definitely is pop culture, and you know, I'm all about that too. So basically, let's get into this. So I'm gonna do a non-spoiler review, and then a little bit into it, I'm gonna do a spoiler-ish review. You know, I don't want to completely spoil the movie for you guys. So first off, I just want to say that this movie felt very reminiscent to the Goonies uh, if you ever watched that show, um, that, show is it, that movie uh, it's really it's, it's really the movie the Goonies uh, but yeah I mean this 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 it it has a very good story and uh, spoiler slash non spoiler uh, there's gonna be a chapter two because uh, apparently thanks to uh, my boy Kiwi Burst telling me this so shout out to you bro uh, um, there's in the book, they um, have the events that go on when they were adults and when they were kids. So apparently, the uh, chapter two part is going to be them as adults, uh, which I kind of, I kind of, you know, I'm down with that because uh, mainly, mainly I want to see who they choose for the adult actors because the main character Billy looks a lot like uh, I don't know how to say his last name, but Dane. D hand or something like that, but he looks um, basically just like him, only younger. And uh, if you don't know who Dane D hand or is or whatever his name is, uh, he played Harry Osborn in Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man 2, and um, he was one of the characters in Valerian, one of the main characters. I didn't see that movie, so I wouldn't know. But yeah, he was in Valerian too. So yeah, they're gonna do a chapter two. But yeah, so this movie was very reminiscent of the Goonies. I wasn't really scared of it at all. There was one scare that actually did get me, but it was just a quick jump, and I was like, oh, whatever. Uh, there weren't really any fake jump scares, as my boy Qweepers pointed out again. Um, the, all, the jumps, all the jump scares were actually pretty legitimate. Uh, you know, there wasn't just like a friend, you know, popping up trying to scare the uh, the other friend and us. They all were pretty legitimate scares, you know, Pennywise. Uh, he was always there when there was a scare, so, oh, bars, uh, sorry about that, but, um, yeah, he was always there when there was a scare, so, uh, they were pretty legitimate, I guess, uh, so that was kind of a relief because most jump scares, it, most horror movies now implement jump scares that are fake, and it really sucks, so that was, uh, that was, that was, you know, a nice, nice little touch, I like how they really tried to keep it, you know, like a regular horror movie and not just you know some whack version like the current horror movies are where they're all just random jump scares that are nothing you know this movie was actually a lot like a, a monster movie kind of because the Pennywise um, this also isn't really a spoiler uh, he feeds on the kids fear and that's why he goes mainly for kids because kids are of course more vulnerable because adults know that you know fear is just in the mind and uh yeah it was just like a scary twisted goonies and instead of you know uh what was that monster's name i don't know but the one that wore the superman shirt said hey you guys instead of him being a good guy he was instead a uh, creepy a uh, clown that chased your kids around and uh, the first scene was pretty corny uh, just like uh, spoiler but non-spoiler uh, the old lady was basically an accomplice to murder so like that's just crazy and also I kind of don't like how they did how they did the old uh, well I mean it's kind of a classic thing and of course this is basically ripped from well this is <laughs> of course ripped from the Stephen King novel um, 
but like I just don't like the whole this town is cursed vibe the whole like you know all this is only happening in one town like if I were to make a horror movie I would make that whole thing like not worldwide because that'd just be too complicated but I'd make it like countrywide or like statewide you know not, not just like because like if a killer is gonna want to get some like real like like diversity in his kills some more thrills in his kills oh another bar but like he's gonna like probably want to go out and especially like if you want to get caught that's how you do it staying in one specific town moving from town to town that's different moving statewide that's even better because like then like it builds an even bigger mystery and if you want to make a franchise i guess that's just one way to do it maybe the kids maybe like the first movie is just an origin story and that's just how the kids start finding the clues you know make it like a long scooby-doo episode just kidding that's what actually that would actually suck but yeah so uh, i'm gonna say it once again this movie was basically a twisted up goonies and more modernized uh the way that the movie was sort of handled was mm, i don't really know how to put this in words uh but i i kind of feel like the the main character billy was uh he was really uh he was, he was he was pretty cool he was a pretty cool kid but you know he was just like he hangs on to stuff a little too much all right but um yeah that's basically all i have to say for the non-spoiler part of this video uh now for the spoiler part warning spoilers are ahead but again i won't spoil it too much because i want it to i i want to you know still let you guys have that sort of like surprise feeling that i felt you know still figuring out what's going on during the movie not having someone tell you directly but so yeah here we go spoilers ahead click away now if you don't want any of those all right so first of all again i'm going to go back to the first scene it was really dumb how uh billy the main character is kid uh kid brother was one <laughs> foreshadowing his kid brother's death and two how the little brother was like getting killed and screaming and an old lady was there but literally when she saw him crawling away she didn't go to help at all like at all she just turned around and then when he was gone she turned around again took her cat and went inside like come on now lady literally call 911 right then like the main problem i have with this movie is that no one calls 911 no one is acting smart at all like in any scene like literally um i think the first time that one of the kids had an encounter with pennywise was in i, I think it was the jewish kid stan he went into uh the rabbi's office i believe and he he was scared of this picture which i can understand it was a freaky picture some woman with a crooked face and it was pretty creepy to me but first like you see that the painting is tilted you know why would someone be have a tilted painting in their office for one unless they are crazy which you know that should be like a little a little kind of like yellow flag not really a red flag but a yellow flag but then the kid puts the book back and then he you know notices that the painting falls off the floor that's the first time he should have ran when the painting falls off the floor but nobody else is in the room with him and then he picks up the painting and there's nothing on it the woman is completely gone from the painting and then that's the second time he should have ran when the door was wide open and then the light starts flickering on the bookshelf and that even there was even sounds that was a third sign he should have ran before he turned around stared at the freaky woman that came to life and then ran after he already saw it that was just like it was it was, it was annoying it was baffling and when the um when the uh chubby kid uh ben when he was in the library he followed a balloon that no one else saw so one dude either you're crazy or something's messing with your mind so he's, he's he's looking at all these pictures of like deaths and like explosions and stuff and like like everything that happened to the town because he said he wanted to learn about it and he he's he's looking at all this stuff and he's like 
he sees the balloon, he follows the balloon, and then, like, he figures out that there's, like, some, like, Easter explosion that killed a bunch of kids, and there was, like, a kid's head in a tree from the explosion, and he follows some eggs, of all things, eggs, even after he read that, he follows eggs, and then he goes down into, like, where they keep up a whole bunch of books, and then a headless kid walks towards him and he waits until the kid is like five feet away from him a headless burnt kid is five feet away from him dropping eggs all over the floor and then he starts to run and that's when he starts getting chased by pennywise and that's what i hated literally once he saw that the eggs led to a dimly lit place he should have just automatically just turned around and ran because like that would be like the, that was the dumbest thing ever like literally uh one thing that i well, not one thing, but one character I absolutely hated in this movie, which I think was probably their purpose. You know, um, just that one character that everyone can hate in a movie. You know, that that's, that's just a necessity. Um, was the country mullet kid? You know, and his bully friends. You know, one because he. I mean, you can tell he was. He came from a sort of messed up home, and you know he hated his dad or something like that and he took that anger out on other people you know classic bully only this kid went way too far he carved an h into the chubby kid ben's stomach just because he was the new kid and he was like this song we say welcome this town like what in the world and then he holds him down against like the uh ledge or whatever you would call it of a little uh of a little uh road that leads into like a little uh, hill that would like that you would fall down because it's like super steep and he leans into him and he's like i'm gonna cut your face or something like that he's like he's basically gonna kill them and like he just goes way too far and i hate him especially that mullet uh freaking hate that mullet oh gosh and then what i didn't get is that one of his friends was fat but then he was calling ben a fat kid and trying to torture him for being fat and new and i was like what Literally, one of your friends is right there, and I and like I looked at that I looked at that character, and like I was like, oh my gosh, like low key, he's looking at him like, what the heck? I'm fat too, man. Like, do you have a problem with fat people? Like, this is <laughs> he went way too far. He almost smashed another kid's head in with a rock. He almost like he one of his friends was gonna burn the kid. Like, they, they're just going way too far. This takes high school bully to a another level and a level that i hope no one else goes to and i don't know if this is in the book or not because i haven't read it because i'm not gonna read a 900 page book start sorry stephen king but i'm not gonna do it but yeah, it's just it's, they're taking way way too far the bullies man this is way too far but yeah in the uh towards the uh ending he comes back because pennywise tells him like he starts like uh influencing his decisions he made pennywise makes the bully kid i don't even remember his name i'm just gonna call him bully kid pennywise makes bully kid kill his dad he makes him try to kill uh mike the black kid that's homeschooled that was afraid to shoot uh goats in the head or uh sheep in the head uh in his farm but then uh oh sorry about that but then you know somehow he manned up and you know there was actually a scene in the middle where everyone thought it was dead because music started playing over scenes like they all like broke up for a little bit like the whole gang broke up and i mean like i don't know what grade these kids were supposed to be in i guess we're supposed to be in high school but they're way too short and skinny to be in high school so maybe their school is just like one of those weird ones where it's high school and middle school but um i don't know but then like they had they had some pretty um pretty spot on high school vibes going on with the whole uh one girl being pinpointed as a uh, as a slut you know you know slut shaming one girl and you know making her feel like an outcast like a weirdo you know making her feel terrible about herself uh that was that's um well, that's not completely high school that's more movie high school but there is like some stuff like that you know where everyone you know hears those rumors which isn't cool at all but you know it happens and you know they he definitely caught some school vibes, you know, and Richie, the kid with the big glasses, was actually probably the smartest one. Once he realized that things were getting way too intense for them, he was the one that was like, alright, we're alive, I intend to keep it that way, I'm out. You know, he was still friends with them, but like, he was like, I can't do this anymore, until he had to do it again. <laughs> but, um, that was just like... I was like, kudos to you, Richie. This is me clapping. Kudos to you, Richie. You know, you you 
you're being smart. You're figuring out this is too much for us. I should have realized before, and now I need to get out of this before I die. And that was really smart. Uh, one thing that I also liked about the movie was that the black, like, actually, well, first off, the black kid didn't die, especially first. Uh, so, but then also, they didn't kill the main characters off one by one, and only three were left. Uh, and they, like, all the main characters lived, I'm pretty sure, except for, a, well, I mean, I guess, uh, Billy's little brother, or Bill's little brother, uh, Georgie, was kind of a main character. He was a main factor, but I don't, I guess he wasn't really a main character. Um, but, uh, yeah, all the main characters pretty much lived. And of course, that must be in the book too, because then they have to come back as adults. And you know, I haven't read the book, but this kind of feels like the type of movie where the it was pretty similar to the book. But also, I can't really say that because I haven't read the book. Uh, so you know, tell me in the comments below: uh, Is this movie is it? Is it pretty reminiscent of the book? Like, did they? change any major things like did they leave a character out did they leave like a kiss out or something you know you know like what did they miss uh please tell me in the comments below and um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say the movie as a whole was pretty it was pretty good you know it didn't scare me at all there was like i think i already said this but there was like one scare that actually got me um but besides that, I was like, why are these people jumping at literally nothing? <laughs> they're all scared, scared of cats, and they're all crazy, and like, what's going on? This isn't scary at all. But, you know, the ending scene was really weird. Tentacles and crab legs and hands coming out of Pennywise's mouth. And that was just like, no, 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 no. And Wheel Float 2 finally made sense in the end uh, when, um, you know, they finally found all the people floating that Pennywise killed. Except for Beverly, of course, because, you know, Beverly's the main character. She can't die, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Um, basically, that's all I got right now, for now, you know? And if I remember anything, definitely uh, add that in later on. But yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this video influenced you to either not or to see it. Uh, well, yeah, it. I kind of said that without trying to say it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys you know, understand what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys see it. <laughs> and I will catch you guys later.